back to the Bulldogs post-game show on 1070 The Fan. <laughs> A road win leads them to an 11 and 4 record in season one and one of the Big East. St. John's falls to 11 and 3. Time now to take a listen back at some of the highlights from the game. We start with the first half, and Nick talked about it. An 11 4 start for St. John's at the first media timeout. It was not pretty, but then Kellen Dunham bringing the Bulldogs back a little bit of life. Barlow passes it off to the right side. Etherington slides one into Jones. Jones back out to Austin. Austin steps into the baseline. Cross court pass. Dunham for three. Yes! Dunham would then hit another three-pointer, and that pulled it back to within one. Rose Jones would give the Bulldogs the lead at the 13-37 mark. And they move it around to Rose Jones in front of St. John's bench. Into the paint. Potter up and good. The Bulldogs have the lead. 12-11 to 11 at that point. Seven minutes and 44 seconds we go. Kellen Dunham was not done. Kellen Dunham will catch and shoot for three. Three three-pointers for Kellen Dunham. And at 17-15, gave Butler back the lead at that point. And Dunham would finish with four three-pointers in the first half alone. Five seconds left in the game. St. John's had gotten the lead as big as six. Butler needed to answer back, and it was Alex Barlow. Nothing on the shot clock. Barlow dribbling at midcourt. Bulldogs would love to go into halftime with a bucket. Six seconds left. Barlow. Butler, yes! That gave the Bulldogs a 30-26 score at the half. They were down by just four. And then Alex Barlow picking things up two minutes and 30 seconds into the second half. Butler left to right for our vantage point across from Butler's bench. Here's the zone again. Travis, cross court pass. Barlow in the right corner for three. Knocks it down. Yeah. Alex Barlow would finish this game six of nine from the floor. Hit wet one three-pointer, 15 points, six rebounds, two assists, two steals in 38 minutes out on the floor for the senior Alex Barlow. At 16.43, we pick you up. Kellen Dunham, not just shooting from downtown, he was driving in. Pass partially deflected. Barlow takes it away. In transition, Dunham up ahead, laying good. Kellen would finish 8 of 16 from the floor, 28 points, 6 of 7 from long distance, including this three-pointer. Kellen Dunham, timeline left side. Can you get KD a look here? Bounce pass to Jones. Branch went for the steal. Dunham has it back for a second. Harrison slipped. Three ball in the air. Good. That was a huge three-pointer with under two minutes left. Gave Kellen 26 points in the game. And it came down to the wire. The Bulldogs had a strong defensive stand. Ball slipped out of Phil Green's hand. And then on the last final seconds, the Bulldogs picked up the win. Green gets the inbound with four seconds left. He'll dribble it forward. He'll dunk it in with three-tenths of a second left. Barlow brings it in. The Bulldogs knock off number 15, St. John's. And 73-69, your final score. Picking up the first road victory for any Big East team on the Butler Bulldogs on this Saturday afternoon. They return back to host Providence Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Great tickets still available for that one. Ticketmaster.com. Uh, you can go to the Hinkle Fieldhouse box office. That's The ticket office is inside gate four, or you can... Call 800-745-3000 for more tickets. Central Indian Ford Dealer Post Game Show continues as we roll on. We'll have the hardware to hand out after we play back some of the highlights. We'll take another look at the Merrill Lynch box score. And we'll take a look around some of the Big East action taking place on this jam-packed Saturday afternoon on the Butler Basketball Radio Network. Becoming a top-tier student-athlete starts with a top-tier training regimen. And no one prepares young